class here is going to expect uh, a slight property all right so i'll show you what i mean by that so let's just do data and uh, let's just return an empty object and next let's do props so props is a way of telling uh, Vue.js what properties to expect. So um, in the props um, object, let's do slide. And um, it's going to just be uh, the property slide. Okay. So um, yeah, so this property, when this component, when you're calling it, you need to provide the slide component, the, the slide property that is. But that's no problem since we have a list of slides. Anytime we're calling that, we can... Um, pass it in here okay so let's import that component so in here in script let's do import uh, slide from and then let's do dot forward slash since they're all in components we just need to do slide okay and um, let's create a components property here so the same level as data let's do components and then let's do slide Basically, this will create an object with a slide key and a slide value, okay? But since we're using ES6, when we do um, this, it knows that we want to create a key with the same name and the value with the same um, variable, okay? In this case, slide up here. All right, so in our loop here, we're gonna have to say slide. And um, so we're creating a single slide. So let's do four slash slide. And then, so right now we're invoking the slide whenever we're looping over slides, okay? So let's just put some test um, data in our slide component here just to show that it is um, being used. So let's say inside of slide, okay? So head over to the browser and it says we have an error in um, data and an unexpected token. So um, let's see what that is. All right, so data um, basically to return i'm um, actually you don't need um, yeah you do need that let's do return an object and that was the problem all right so head over to the browser and refresh and as you can see um we're being shown um the slides um data but we want to show a single slide right so how do we do that it seems that um, we're having an error still because the um, new uh, data that we added in isn't being um, compiled properly. And the reason for that is because if you notice here, we're doing export default. So we need to do that here as well. Okay, so in your script, you need to export default always. Okay, with ES6, that's how things work. Basically, this is just saying, um, if you import this class here, this is the um, the class that will be given to you as we have done here. So when we do import slide from dot forward slash slide, we're being given everything inside of this script here. Okay, so that's good practice to do. Um, well, you actually have to kind of do it. So now you can see we're using what's inside of a single slide. It says inside of slide, All right? So let's continue with the tutorial. But um, inside of each slide, instead of just um, uh, saying inside of slide, what we want to do is we want to be passed in a single slide and then um showcase the image into that so let's go to slides dot um view here and what we want to do is anytime that um we're invoking a single slide we want to bind okay so let's do v dash bind and colon so let's do slide equal to slide okay so that is inside of this um component here we have a property slide so we want to give it the value of the current slide that we're looping over okay so we save that and as you can see now let's do um slides in slide with um href so let's do slide dot source save that in the browser it says in slide with href whatever okay so now let's just um create an image tag which we're gonna bind the um the source property to the source property of this slide that has been passed in from the parent slides component okay so let's do this so this we're gonna remove slide um source so we do v dash bind so vue.js will know to automatically put that in the source okay so we have to give it the property of this um element to bind to so we want to bind source of image to um dash um, slide dot source okay so let's do slide dot src so we'll save that back in our browser as you can see now 
we have five images so let's um, inspect um, so I'm going to inspect this as you can see now what Vue.js did for us was create um, five components and inside each it put uh, an image tag there and the source was set to um, whatever the source is for that slide okay so um, let's carry on with that tutorial okay so let's do um, some stylings for this image. So what we want to do is we want to say um, the image has a max width of 100%, okay? So basically we don't want it to go over um, the container it is in. So let's do 100%, okay? So let's do slide and um, display inline block. Okay, so um, we're gonna save that and head over to the browser. So as you can see, there's no changes, all right? So um, let's change this to scoped because we want it to only apply to that single image. And uh, we made a mistake with this. It should be width, not width. Okay, so save. Um, let's inspect that any changes have happened. So I'm going to um, just click here. And um, as you can see, now um, I'm going to save that, refresh 